In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the reason why you can't turn. Now, I've just given a small group class lesson of which the golfers are ranging the sort of abilities, but kind of more that sort of mid to high handicap golfers. And they all had the same problem. They couldn't turn through the golf ball and they were struggling with the contact. And what we did is we made a couple of changes and the results were fantastic. And that's why I want to share it exactly with you guys. You can let me know in the comments if this looks familiar, kind of getting set up like so maybe have a little glance at the target just before I go to hit it and then sort of hit the golf ball where everything feels very close together. My hands are very close to my chest and I'm like so. So if I sort of show you that again, okay, getting set up, looking down at the golf ball and then maybe have a little glance up, sort of swinging through, hit the ground a little bit on that one, but again, similar sort of finishing position. Okay, so what's happening here is that you're not turning through the golf ball. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some changes that you can make to help you turn quite naturally through the golf ball without really having to force a feeling. Now, the first mistake that you're making is when you're stepping into shots, you're stepping in, should we say, completely opposite the ball. So I tend to see, particularly down the driving range, right, because you're kind of restricted with space, you sort of do a practice swing next to the ball and then you step into it. We don't want that. Okay, you watch professional golfers or good golfers, what they'll always be doing is a lot of them make the practice swing behind the ball, which I understand down the driving range you can't do, but at least start walking in side on. Okay, so if I just show you that, so I'd get set up, I'd have a look, so I'm looking, I might even draw a little line with my club so I know where to aim, choose something just in front of me, I'll put the club down, okay, bring you back a little bit, put the club down, but I'm open. So I'm looking at my target when I'm sort of taking my stance and I feel like I'm a little bit more sort of side onto it when I'm starting up. Okay, so what I'm not doing is stepping in like this where I'm closed and I'm gonna get stuck. I'm stepping in where I'm more open and I'm more this way. Now that was the first thing that we did. And what I also did for those golfers, I just got them hitting some shots where everything was facing a little bit more that way. Just some open up shots. And what started to happen is that the arms are able to work more in front of you. And that made a big difference just on its own. But that's a mistake that I think a lot of you are making and by just sort of starting a little bit more behind the ball could actually make quite a big difference. So that's part one of your routine. The second part of the routine and the other reason why you can't turn is because you don't understand the role and the importance of this leg. Now, when we watch professional golfers, you might see the lead foot pretty perpendicular to your target, right? But what we always see with tour pros is the foot will either roll so it'll either sort of soup in it this way, or it might pivot around the toe, or pivot around there. And the reason for that is when you finish that swing, that upper leg, if I just jam this through my thigh here, see the way it's facing the target, it has to face towards the target. If it's not, similar to my golfers earlier, then, you know, you can't move, right? You're gonna stand up. So this leg, is gonna be tip number two. So you start standing a little bit more side on, okay? And that foot is gonna be flared out, okay? Now, not only are you gonna do that, because you could flare the foot out and you could do something like this. This is no good. What I also want you to experiment with is just get the feeling that your belt buckle is just pointing a little bit more down towards your lead ankle. And again, this just gets us into a position where we're starting a little bit on the left, that's fine. I'm not saying you have to stay there. You start there, but it also feels like I'm already over the ball. Now you tell me, if you saw somebody, might look a little unusual setting up like this, okay, as opposed to somebody who is sort of setting up like this, which one is more likely to be the better ball striker? And I'm hoping you're in agreement that the golfer that looks a little bit more this way is gonna have a much better chance. Now, the drill that we did in the lesson, okay, and I'm gonna show you against this wall and then I'm gonna draw a little line here to represent it is the problem for our golfers who were sort of standing up and couldn't turn is the contact was inconsistent, as you would expect with a sort of mid to high handicapper. So what I said to them is, look, the objective is we want to try and feel like we're trying to keep the club as low to the ground as possible. So what we did is we got them against the wall to start off with, quite literally, close to the wall, and I put a little object down so they didn't, but I said, look, I want you to get the club to the bottom of the wall, like so, and then move a little further away and then move a little further away. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line vertically on the screen to represent a wall, okay? So the wall's just over my lead ankle, into the wall, perfect. Move a little further away, get rid of the golf ball for a set, perfect. Can you see the way that by understanding the notion that we wanna try and keep the club lower to the ground, 
what that's going to do is that's going to help us turn and clear the hips out of the way, but in a very natural way based on that idea. And you can advance that as much as you want. You know, you can advance that, you can work with the idea that you want the, the wall further outside and it's fine. And what it's doing is it's just encouraging rotation, particularly for those that struggle with hip turn. So that is the way we went about it. We started with the position like so, static, stuck, not much movement. And towards the end of the session, we were starting to step in more open, flare the lead foot, set in into a position where we're getting the weight in towards that lead side equally. And then from here, we were sort of thinking more about the golf swing as being an objective of swinging into our wall. And we were able to deliver a much better position. Now, finally, one of the questions that I often get from lots of you is, okay, you get that type of motion, but it tends to lend itself to steepness. Now, what I mean by this, let me imagine I set up here and I'm swinging towards this wall, okay? So if a golfer tends to move more like this, okay, so they move forward, what will happen is that your arms will tend to move like this and the club will get a bit more vertical. The reason for this is that if you move like this with your body where you stand up, the club won't shallow because you'll miss the ball, okay? So you have to pull the club down to get the club on the back of the ball. Now, the problem in golf is if you start turning better, if you still have the same arm movement, that's when you're gonna be a bit too steep, okay? But then you need to start working on the feeling of the club sort of shallowing. But that's fine, right? And the easiest way to get rid of that, and I mentioned it a little bit earlier, is to experiment with standing a bit more side onto shots, okay? So, through the lesson, we changed the routine. And like I said to the guys, I said, look, aim at this target, this 50 yard marker just in front, but stand side on, okay? And what this did is this was getting them rewired. So they had to start changing what their arms were doing, okay? And they naturally had to start finding ways to shallow the club, to help the club still point in the correct direction based upon the more open idea. But the root cause of the problem here was the lack of rotation. Because they didn't improve the rotation of movement, they can't improve their arms. If you improve your rotation of motion, that means that your arms can retrain themselves to move correctly. And that's the big important thing about this video. So to summarize, you want to, first of all, start walking into shots either from behind the ball or a little bit more open as I'm demonstrating here. The second thing is flare the foot and get that pelvis a little bit more into the leg so you feel like there's a bit more weight on there to start off with and then what I'm basically saying is you've got to try and concentrate on imagine you're swinging into the wall and then as time goes on you'll be able to shallow the club with your arms and you'll be able to get this fantastic rotational motion and I promise you it'll make a massive difference see you soon